SOS Black Australia held its third round of international rallies in late June. The protests were against both the federal government and the West Australian government attempts to forcibly shut down remote Aboriginal communities which they deem unviable. The assault on Aboriginal people in the homelands is part of the biggest land grab that we've seen in this country since the original wave of dispossession. Some Aboriginal people are sick of the decisions that are being made by, um, by government departments and in particular with the forced closures over in um, Western Australia. These closures, I, I want to know what's going to hap happen to the people. What's going to happen to the people? They come from remote communities. Where are they going to put up? The things that we're faced with at the moment is probably the most important things of our time. Our very right to exist as a people. Always was, always will be. This is actually a sustained and unrelenting attack on Aboriginal peoples around this country. The Abbott government is attacking Aboriginal communities on multiple fronts. It has slashed more than $500 million from Aboriginal programs, including domestic violence, legal services, early childhood care and health. What's happening with the medical services it's not just closing down because of lack of funds, it will cause death. When you know death is going to be the result of what you do, that is murder. The AMS is the biggest Aboriginal medical service in the country. With over 11,000 active patient files, our funding has been cut. Always was, always will be! This government, state and federal, are causing the murders of Aboriginal people. They call, they call, we won't stop! Get your hands off the block! They call, they call, we won't stop! Over 80% of the wealth coming off Aboriginal country is now going to multinational corporations. Only 6% of the mining wealth off this country actually goes to the federal treasury. We have Aboriginal people trapped in generational poverty and disadvantage. We don't want their millions. We just want to live as a free people. The defence of Aboriginal land is not only an issue for remote communities. In Redfern, local Aboriginal activists have organised a tent embassy occupation of the Redfern block to prevent a development which they believe will whitewash the area and exclude long-term Aboriginal residents. The closing down of Redfern is one of the most important battles that we will fight in the modern day era. This was originally given by Whitlam to the Aboriginal people, therefore it should stay with the Aboriginal people. We need to rally and we'll come out again and again until we have Aboriginal housing on the block. This is too important, this block. This is a representation of all of our Aboriginal people right across Australia. Racism, no way! We have had enough. It's time to stop this oppressive treatment of our people. It's start, time to start talking to us as equals. We cannot call ourselves a nation until the First Peoples have proper protected rights. We can make a difference and we can make this country stop its racist genocidal practices on our people. Always, 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 always. The message is, is, is starting to become quite clearer to the wider public and to make, make the government start to think about how it impacts on Aboriginal communities and how they should better um, involve us in, in, in communication and deciding on what, um, what happens in our communities. We need to come out under the shadows, come out of the dark end of the streets. We've got to stop being silent and we want everyone to start saying, no, come together as a people. And we will win this.